uh, please go check out the, previ the previous part to this one in order to gauge your bearings uh, that you might be able to move forward from this point. I am living in a country that is a, a professor of, of Christianity for the larger part and we don't get random uh, religious persecutions, uh, religious abuses, we don't get jihad from the Islamic um, conglomerate in the nation. There's generally like rel religious peace in this country, whatever that means, okay? Uh, but I am persecuted by a whole bunch of witches remotely using my family members as puppets on a string. I am enduring religious persecution at the height of an Iranian or a Chinese or a North Korean convert to Jesus, to Jesus Christ. And it's frankly an abomination that that is my life in a nation so freely preaching of the gospel as this one. And there's one of the biggest reasons why nobody is taking me seriously. It is because I'm in South Africa. If I was in Nigeria, in the Islamic states of Nigeria, maybe, maybe, just maybe, somebody might actually take me up. If I was living in China, if I was living in Iran, if I was in Lebanon, if I was, you get my point. But I am in South Africa and that's why people are just kind of like gliding right by me on time. I know, oh, yeah, she's making things up. I am not. I have been persecuted, lambasted, harassed, trashed for years by my, literally anybody at all that could have a bone to pick with me, a gripe, anyone that has a jealous agenda, whatever, that, that might be, you know, scratching or tickling them, making them uneasy on their chair. Anyone that has any such disquiet with me has successfully prospered to hurt me only because I don't have a shield of protection from my family members. They have used my isolation and how ostracized I am through them. And my family members have also, in and of themselves, slapped me with sorcery. And they have also manifest, manifest, do you understand, the sorcery of other people. Because they are cities that have no walls. They have no self-control. They engage in dark arts alongside calling themselves believers. They've been spat out of the mouth of Jesus for they are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold. And for those reasons, they are easily used against the only Christian convert among them. I got born again, raised heap, uh, again, what is this, um, beauty out of the ashes within my family. And then I got abused by them in an unprecedented fashion. They were never like that. I don't come from a history of abuse or disregard, um, disrespect. I have been always kind of, you know, gained honor because I worked hard and I got to where it is that I got. And so my uncle gave me respect my mom people gave me respect because i had a strong education uh i, I had a strong I, I, I could what is this intelligence and i also had a strong work ethic and that won me a material success and as a result of that i come from a history of honor among my family members i've never been this ostracized and disregarded but now kids mock me diss me there was a time when one of my uh very young at the time he could have been like like what 11 years old um niece not niece nephew that's the boy version right uh basically told me that if i don't have money i better go to the side of the street and beg and stand and ask for imali uh, the only reason that little boy spoke in so a horrific capacity as that is because his mom who is my cousin uh and some of my other family members would in their concert with one another speak like this about me in front of kids and so kids have no respect for me at all they have no idea what i come from i've been in this obscurity and squalor for almost 10 years it's been eight years and when i entered into it some of these kids were just toddlers so they don't know my former glory and my history all they've ever known me as is an ostracized and disregarded member of my family and so therefore i buy gifts for nipi at all they don't respect me they don't see any value when they look at me however my family members know better than that the older ones they, they they know better goodness this thing it mustn't fall off my head all right uh because it's also kind of like an aesthetic feature i'm trying to hide my bad hair underneath it um yeah no these kids don't know any better so when they treat me like this i'm like oh my goodness it'll be um better for them elders in my family the, the the older to have a millstone tied around their neck and to be thrown into the ocean than for them to face god on the judgment because they made children sin against god they made children in the family sin against god and get one i'm the only mzalwani literally true genuine convert in my family i am the only true genuine convert the last one remaining that was next to me passed away my aunt the rest of them are Oh, fluffy, fluffy hi uh sorry i got cut off my iphone ran out of uh space so now i am on the android device and so therefore that's why there is a change in the quality of the video i hope it's not too different okay yeah no I, I was basically lost place that i left off i said that i'm the only person in my family that's truly genuinely genuinely born again if i was not the only person if there were other human beings in my family that are born again i would not be in this position they would have helped me they would have like reached out their hand to me um by this men will know you my disciples love one another if there was another genuinely born again christian in the family they would consider
consider this a travesty, they would have reached out their hand to me to help me out. They've all just stood back and done nothing. The Holy Spirit has not convicted them of any such travesty. So they have displayed what their deeds that they're not saved, even though they keep on going to church every Sunday, etc. They've been in a position to help me, but decided not to. They have allowed darkness to carry them away like a tsunami. Plus, on top of that, they keep on getting exposed for sorcery. So that is how I confirm I'm the only family member that is born again. It is not out of pomp or arrogance or religious heft or whatever that I'm standing on. It is just by mere virtue of the fact that they bear no fruit of the Holy Spirit. They are not of my brethren. And so therefore they treat me like enemies. They're enemies of the cross at present. They are Jacob's brothers. Do you understand? The one person that was redeemed was supportive of me and then she passed away. My aunt. Now, uh, that... I, those horrendous uh, mistreatments of my person that have made my family members essentially make out of me uh, a person under conservatorship like Britney Spears uh, is what has made a lot of people get away with murder in my life. I cannot move left or right. Not because I am cursed. No, I belong to Jesus. Do you understand what I'm saying? But only because the ecosystem around me is. And there aren't enough people sufficiently convicted by the Holy Spirit to do a different thing because will the Lord find faith on the earth? But I do know that even in an instance where there is a remnant, the operative term is that it's not one person, but a remnant. It is a conglomerate. It's a bunch of people. And there is heft. There is weight to us as believers when we are conglomerated. There is might in just one Christian. And when we come together, that might increases exponentially. I therefore am not even petitioning a massive number of people to help me here. Only enough who will feel sufficiently tugged away at by the Holy Spirit to do something concerning my case that I might not just dwindle into the wilderness and die. I want to explain to you the nature of demonic attack that is coming against two of my YouTube channels. The only reason I even have, and I spoke about this the other day, but I will speak about it again because it is a worthwhile matter to reiterate over and over again that people might gauge me rightly as one who is desperate enough to send out the same SOS smoke signal every day until eventually somebody hears me. Do you understand? This is the nature of my persecution, right? On on YouTube. I have already highlighted this. The Lord has shown me that this is what's going on. Um, go, So... Christians who grow at all on social media. I have been like, I'm, you know, the reason why I'm, stum I'm stammering about right now is because I'm looking at the time and I want to link the previous video that I did with my iPhone and this one in one batch that's under 10 minutes. And I'm busy trying to calculate how many more minutes are left. So let me just move on to the next part um, that I might just have my whole full 10 minutes to speak at leisure.